Hi, this is Mike Cabrera with Heckler & Koch. I'm here to talk to you today about some of our latest versions of the 416 machine gun, but I'm going to start with the early version of the 416, which we have here. Uh, obviously, it's got some different accoutrements on this weapon system, but these are modifications that we liked earlier as the design has changed a little bit on the rifle, but uh, the earlier version was meant, it's obviously a 223 machine gun. It's safe semi and full auto. The problem with the system, not so much problem, but the difference of the system that we needed to change was this is made for a right-handed shooter. Obviously we have a lot of left-handed shooters and it's important for them to be able to function, use the function of this weapon system to, uh, to its fullest extreme. So we have selector lever, bolt release, and mag release. Everything switched around from side to side. We have our steel sights. We've gone to different sights to make this weapon a little lighter. We've gone to a lighter buttstock. We notice that in the industry, there's a lot of companies that make different uh, materials or different accessories for these weapon systems, and we wanted to try to get ahead of the curve, so we've added those to this weapon system. But this is kind of the older brother of the 416. It's still a very popular weapon system with many large agencies in the United States and military. What we've done now is realize the Germans redesigned the system to make it more effective for some of the questions that we've had regarding the 416. This is a 416A5. The 416A5, as you notice, it does have some differences. Although it looks similar to its older brother, there's a lot of things that we mentioned earlier about this gun that it needed and now has. We have a folding front sight that's machined into the front rail system, so you don't have to worry about any obstructions in the front of your rail when you fire this weapon system if you have some type of red dot or optic or any type of glass. We've also lightened it up again with a plastic dust cover, but the really nice feature of this gun is that if you decide to shoot this weapon system in the suppressed mode, you now have a gas regulator that you can turn for either suppressed or non-suppressed, depending on what your configuration is or what your activity is when you're shooting this weapon system. Very nice feature, very helpful. The other thing is this is truly an ambidextrous weapon system. You have a magazine release on the left side, magazine release on the right side. You have a bolt release on the left side, which you had on this gun. You now have one on the right side. So now you can truly operate this weapon system if you're left-handed or right-handed. The nice features about this gun is it's still very operable. If you notice, it, this has a different manufacturer's buttstock on it. H&K has developed a different buttstock for this weapon system to lighten it up a little more. It still has the same functionality as its older brother, but it's still very effective and a very nice weapon system. This is available currently to the U.S. military, and it's also available to law enforcement agencies. One of the other important features about the, the 416A5 is on the 416 original weapon system, it was a 10.4 inch barrel. We now have an 11 inch barrel, which is definitely helpful for a more precision shot. We needed to do that in order for the gas regulator to function correctly.